Welcome to Healthcare Sucks with more on the breakout in China. There's the military, guys. I told you it was coming. They're calling it, of course, uh, medical doctors. All those military guys are not medical doctors, my friends. Here's what a couple of people had to say. I protect myself and everyone takes their own precautions to protect themselves. Meanwhile, several countries are negotiating the evacuation of their citizens. It is understood that Washington is organizing a flight to bring people back to the United States. France and Russia are also reportedly working on an evacuation plan with Chinese authorities. Factories have been asked to intensify production as pharmacies in the city of Wuhan have started to run out of supplies. While two emergency hospitals are being built to cope with the expected influx of patients. Major tourist sites have been closed across China. Looking at the deserted temples like here in Beijing, it's hard to believe this is the new year. Except when turning on the television to watch celebrations. Presenters in a New Year broadcast sent a message to those stranded in Wuhan. We greet everyone this new year. Strive on, Wuhan. As the year of the rats kicks in, wishes of good health seem more relevant than ever. Tell me that ain't karma, the year of the Canada rat. has now confirmed its first coronavirus case in Toronto. It's the latest of around a dozen countries to report the virus within their borders. So far, no one outside China has died. But that doesn't mean people around the world aren't taking precautions. Nick Rushworth looks at the virus's global reach. This Paris chemist has run out of surgical masks. People are coming in to buy them only to be told there are none left. Yeah. That's worrying for customers. This one has ordered two. Some people have the virus. I don't know how it spreads exactly, but it's good to have a mask just in case. French health authorities say the illness appears less serious than comparable past outbreaks. The level of danger is assessed by the relation between the number of deaths and the number of cases. The number of deaths has been increasing, but slower than the number of cases. We have a maximum of 3% mortality, but we think there are many more cases than the ones we know of, which means the mortality is lower. It is already lower than the SARS outbreak. The vast majority of cases are in Wuhan in China's Hubei province, but there are a small number of infections in around a dozen countries worldwide, including in the United States. The victims are mainly people who traveled from China. We were expecting that eventually the virus would hit the United States, although we weren't expecting it to hit this quickly. The patient um, was appropriately treated. The patient had a mask placed and was asked the appropriate screening questions. And we determined that there was a history that the, the patient had traveled to the Wuhan region of China. Vigilance is especially high at airports in Malaysia. International passengers across the country are being screened. Those having a fever or cough or facing difficulties breathing are taken to hospital. The public is being reminded to be hygienic and wear a mask in crowded areas. Over in the U.S., lawyers representing Donald Trump got their first chance. And I'm sure you've heard enough about the impeachment thing going on over here. It's ridiculous, but depending which side of the fence you're on. Again, we the people are wine. We are the 99%. That's what you need to remember. We are the 99%. Not the left, not the right, not all this hookah booka in big town, New York. Come on, guys. They don't care about us anyway. And with that, what I want to do is I want to pick up on a couple things that were said there. First of all, China mass produces everything. So they've already got factories for medications and all that. I mean, go to your dollar store. You see China medications on the shelf for a buck. Go to anywhere and you find China med. As a matter of fact, a lot of our medicines are produced from China. So them not having medication is because... Ch ching ch ching ch Come on. Give me monies. Give me free monies. They have the medications. 
with that if we want to kick a little in fine but as far as uh -uh, it's not our responsibility again to provide for the world we need to provide for the united states it's coming here guys we're going to need our medications here like you already heard they're running out of masks at different places it's ridiculous they got tons of that they got warehouses full of that stuff they're holding back to drive the price up we know they do that um, on another note, what I caught right away, and now it's starting to be more in the limelight, military. Yeah, it's called martial law, guys. It's coming. Um, I picked up on another channel uh, where DHS, one of their high officers, was having a conversation via the president. And he was recommending, talking about uh, martial law over here. And at that point, the president said no. He didn't want to do it. So to clarify, he said no. Now, who knows down the road on that end. I don't want to paranoid anybody out. But the words are out there. As for over there, you got troops landing. Yeah, they're calling a lot of them medical. Even if they're medical, uh, my son was in the service. And he was medical. He was also an army op officer. So as far as that goes... Uh, you know, uh, your army first, medical second, period. Uh, you know, other things that are going on over there, things closing. Um, I did hear some really interesting news. I don't know if you caught it on one of my previous ones. They're now dispatching 600 taxis in Wuha because uh, they... Basically, you're not supposed to drive your car no more. All cars now are uh, locked down. You're not allowed to travel. No travel. Even in your own car now to go to the store. Yeah, I don't know if you caught that. So, with healthcare sucks, we want to cover something. You know, we're talking about food and things. getting. They were talking about vegetables getting delivered and stuff. Wonderful. You got 600 taxis running around. A lot of poor people can't afford the taxis to run and deliver. Are we talking free? They didn't mention that. Part two, you got a lot of sick people over there that are chronically ill that get medications all the time and stuff. We haven't heard a word about the chronically ill who are already ill over there as far as getting their continuing their medications and stuff. And that's something I want to throw at the U.S. Yes, you, Mr. President. You, Mr. President. You, Governor Little Brain Kate in Oregon. Little Brain Kate, because she's got a little brain. She don't use it right. Anyway, that's my own peeve because I live in Oregon. So I have the right to say that. As far as the president, back to you, sir. We need to be ready when tragedy happens, no matter what it is, earthquake or whatever. Chronically ill people are going to need their meds. I'm currently working with several doctors and I know you have nothing in place. If we have a Cascadia event, you're not set to truck doc medications over and deliver them to people at their houses. You're not set to helicopter drop stuff at what you should be doing. Everywhere has a community center or food bank or something like that in their neighborhood or area. Right up the road, we have a food bank. I would volunteer to go up there and see people get their meds, see people get their food. We have enough space out in front of my yard. You could do a helicopter drop we would see stuff gets there we would go out on quads and deliver in our community this could happen now if you want help any of government officials healthcare sucks at 2015 gmail.com healthcare sucks youtube contact me i have a plan for all this and as a matter of fact in the future we're going to go into what some of my plans are and they are cost efficient they will work and People won't have to suffer or die. Loss of life. Now, of course, if we're talking about Agenda 21s and things, we're talking they don't care about. Again, we the people. We're expendable. Loss of life? Hey, they've already planned for this. One world order? They don't care about us. Don't kid yourself. The poop, whatever you call him over there, that's what I call him. The poop. Um... Nah, they're in it for Roman Catholics organization over there's about scumbaggy as they get. I'm sure that's going to get me a mark, but uh, the truth hurts, guys. Uh, and they don't care about nobody. Believe me, 
they're more powerful than most governments. Maybe even the United States, and that's a scary thought. I don't know if they're more powerful than Bezos, man. Just a joke. Um, or when the sheiks. Um, with that being said, guys, there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, like I said in one of my other videos, I was contacted by a source that I know is for real. That has contacts with the government and DHS and etc. And they're hiding a lot. There's already more going on than you even know about. And I urge you, do not feed into what's coming across the TV on your five or six stations at night stuff. Whether you're left or right, it does not matter. You're hearing about 2% of the truth, 98% BS, lies, a.k.a. fake news. You want the real thing? You go hit YouTube, guys. You go out. Most of us that are reporting, we're not making a penny. We're here to help. We want to see people live. We love you, man. You're our brothers and sisters. We want you and your families to survive. That's why we're doing this. So, any ideas? Thoughts, hit me up. It's in my at the end of this. I'll put it in the bottom little compartment there. Other than that, we love you and remember, healthcare sucks. Over and out.